Okay, this quick tutorial is brought to you by DreamlineStudio.com and what we're going to cover here is how to create a Flash website. This is going to be a really simple approach, a really simple website. Um, it's going to be a two-page website and this is for anyone that um, uh, has just um, curious how to build a, a Flash website using Flash software. So uh, we're going to start with um, with you already having downloaded the uh, either the demo or, or buying Flash. So we're going to go ahead and start um, right now. We're going to go ahead and um, add um, a structure here. So what I do is I, cho uh, I choose my rectangle tool. And we'll choose, say, color black. And we'll build a header here. And we'll hit, uh, we'll add a, a body structure there. OK, obviously, this is just quick. Uh, you can have any type of uh, design layout you want. Um, what I will do is uh, name the layers. I will call this uh, structure. Sometimes I call it foundation. Okay. Uh, the next we'll have is um, we're going to build uh, two links. Um, so I'm going to create uh, another layer, call this home. Another layer here, and we'll call it uh, about us. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and create the text links. I'm going to choose white. I choose the, uh, the text tool. I'm going to click and drag. I'll call this home. I'll make it caps. And I will make it smaller. Um, I just brought up my properties panel. The way you bring up your properties panel is by going to window, properties, uh, control F3. All right. So I'm going to place my home there, and now I'm going to add the About Us button. Create it there, and we're going to drag and drop it there. So we're on our way to, um, let's just put About. We're on our way to creating a two-page website. Okay, uh, let's create some content for the home page. And I am going to just type in content. Okay, now I'm going to type in. Okay, at this point, if you're going to build more than one page, which you usually, um, that's usually the case, I make more frames. So what I do is I select all these frames with my cursor and I hit F5. Now, since we're going to have two sections, we need, um, uh, we need to stop the timeline in two, two places. So what I do is I add um, an actions layer, and I break them apart by hitting F6 on the keyboard, and then placing a stop action on each frame. So I brought up my actions by hitting F9, or you can go um, window um, actions, F9. Okay, we're going to add a stop here, select the second frame, and add a stop there. This this action here is for home. This action here is for about. Now uh, we have we have our content here. Um, what you can do is you can break it up by hitting F6 again. So this frame here, uh, frame one, is for home. This one will be for about. So let's change this to um, about content. Okay, so now when I select um, with my cursor, this will be, uh, let's go ahead and change that to home content so we don't get confused. Um, home content and then uh, about content. I'm going to drag and drop this actions. So now we have um, a stop. So now we have a stop action here and a stop action there. Okay, now let's make the but buttons active. Okay, so. What I do is um, I select the text, and then I, what I do is I convert them to a button. So what you do is you right-click on the text, convert to symbol, button. You can change that to home, about, same thing, right-click, convert to symbol, and label that about. Okay, so 
um, home now notice the home content is on frame one the about content is on frame two so you want this button to go to frame one so what I do is um, um, once you open up your actions panel uh, with that selected what I do is you go to uh, window uh, again F9 um, or uh, properties uh, actions uh, go to global functions timeline control and click on go to and you want to uh, it's already preset to go to and play one so that one's set now we need to do the same thing for about so um, I go to about uh, go to but instead of one you want it to go to frame two okay all right now let's go ahead and test the website the re how I test it is by going to control test movie okay now here is a, a flash site uh, it's very simple you could add in your own images and I'll show you how to do that later but you have home about back to home and about if you want to add cool little images I'll show you how to do that right now let's add a uh, images uh, layer okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break them apart because you want a home image on frame one and a um, about us image on uh, frame two so uh, with the first frame selected I'm going to go to File, Import, uh, Import to Stage. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go to my pictures, and I'm going to bring up this image here. Okay. So uh, now the home content will have this image, uh, which is a Dreamline Studio uh, icon, and now I want an image on the About section. So I'm going to go to File import import to stage and I am going to choose this uh, flash DL why not I'll just put it here great now we've created a uh, two-page flash website with images in each section let's try it out go to control test movie and now you have um, a site with uh, an image and text so this will be the home area and when you click on about you'll have about content with a, an image congratulations you have built or you've seen how to be how a flash website is, is being built it's pretty simple once you get the uh, um, this the idea of how a timeline works um, so uh, one key, one of the key uh, things to understand is um, how to use the, uh, the stop action and how to actually separate frames and putting content in each one of these frames. Uh, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed our tutorial, and I will uh, be talking to you later. Bye.